In this series, we're talking about antibiotics and how important and precious they are and the dangers of resistance. We're talking about a One Health message. We're talking about the animals and antibiotics, our cells and antibiotics. But there's another component to One Health, and that's the environment. In recent years, we've been learning more and more about the role of the environment and its role in the driving of antibiotic resistance. We know now that how we use antibiotics, both in ourselves and in our animals, influences the environment and the development of resistance. We know there's bacteria in our environment everywhere, that we are all exposed to these bacteria, both ourselves and our animals. And if we use antibiotics, some of these antibiotics are being excreted out into the environment and meeting with these bacteria, which are then developing resistance. We know also that if we use antibiotics in a particular way, such as giving them orally in feed or in a foot bath, that there's a far greater likelihood that these antibiotics will drive antibiotic resistance. So it is really important that we look at how we use them and also how we dispose of them in order to protect the environment in which we live and in which our animals live. Karen, as you've pointed out, it's the animals, the humans, and the environment is where bacteria are. And not all bacteria are bad, and most of them are, are, are commensals, but we, we must minimize the amount of antibiotics getting into the environment. So I suppose for farmers, we're, we're advocating them to reduce their antibiotic use anyway, only when necessary. Yeah. But there is certain practices, like you said, that oral antibiotics. Yeah, the, as, as, as I referenced earlier, Tommy, they're much more likely to drive antibiotic resistance in the environment because the vast majority of the antibiotic comes back out of the animal and contaminates the environment. And plus all the bacteria that are in the gut as well, isn't it? So, yes. And they land into the fields and, and our sheds. The second thing is, is people talk about foot batting and you know putting antibiotics in. That's something we've got to really stop doing, I think, isn't it? Because again, where does that soup bowl of antibiotic go? Absolutely, and the legislation isn't going to allow that anyway. It, it, the new legislation certainly will prohibit the use of antibiotics in that way. And finally, I suppose, you know, we do use antibiotics on our farms, and when we have spare bottles or the empty bottles, or, you know, where we put those antibiotics at the end of the usage is really important, isn't it? It certainly is, Tommy, and I suppose it's an area of focus now for the department that we have a clear system as to how farmers can best dispose. But first and foremost, they cannot put these antibiotics into their domestic waste or down the sink or down a drain. These are key routes for contamination of the environment. It's expensive to get rid of antibiotics, but there is options out there. People can go to their veterinary practices. There is a charge. Um, people go to local county councils who will dispose of them. And as you said, it's a near Area that the department are working on but it's an area I suppose I didn't think about before I thought about the animals thought about myself but the environment's an important one as well isn't it it absolutely is and disposal how you dispose and that you dispose correctly of antibiotics is how we protect our environment <laughs>